hey guys, timing and spacing is really, really important in your exams. So today I'm going to talk about how you can plan things to get the maximum use out of your time. So first of all, what you shouldn't be doing. You shouldn't be spending large blocks of time revising one subject. Then you shouldn't revise a subject and test yourself on it. We need to be thinking about turning things from short-term memories into long-term memories, which means things need to be spread out. You need to be doing a little bit each day. So maybe do like half an hour maths here, half an hour maths there, half an hour maths there. Think about maybe doing two or three topics, but if you want to spread three topics over three, uh, one topic over three sessions, that's fine. And then have a break. And I'm talking about a break of a good few days here. But then go back and test yourself on it. Whether it's doing past papers, whether it's doing the same work you did again, but just put like a post-it note over the answer so you can't see you're working. Um, whether it's going through notes in your book, but doing the questions in the book. Do not revise something and then test yourself on it straight away because all you're testing there is your short term memory we want things to be in your long term memory so revise something and then come back to it a few days later and test yourself on it and even better is if you can get somebody else to test you on it so like make your flashcards for french italian russian german whatever it is spend some time learning your flashcards Give the flashcards to somebody else a couple of days later and say, can you test me on these? That's going to be a much, much better um, representation of whether you've actually learnt it or not. Okay? So, the things we need to take from this video are short bursts of revision and then go back a few days later and test yourself on what you've learned. Make sure it is properly in there in your long-term memory and that it's not just in your short-term memory and you're like pretending that you've revised it but you haven't actually revised it. So give yourself a break between things and make use of other people to do stuff. Get your friends to use your flashcards and test you. Cover up the answers with post-it notes in your book. Work out the answer again and then check you've got the same answer. You don't have to keep reinventing new things to revise from every single time. You can do the same stuff and just check you get the same answer every single time. Um, so that's another little revision tip for you. There are loads, loads, loads more on this massive long playlist that I'm making. Um, if you need any help, guys, just ask.